Hey y'all, I want to say thank you so much for following me on TikTok and subscribing to my YouTube channel. So y'all, we're going to do a little story time. So today I was at work. Let's do a little backstory. Let's start from if you hear something in the background, y'all know I'm a mamiana, so don't get to, oh, what's all that background noise, Anna? Baby, what else I supposed to do? What, what else you want me to do? Anyway, so story time. So today i go going to work now let's pause for a second when i first moved down here i did sorry y'all i did not know i didn't have zero i had zero clue that the job that i was applying to was not the job that was based around my degree right i didn't notice until my second day of work that it was not the job that i applied for so when when i first got the initial call that I was going to begin the interview for the job that I am very grateful for. I thank God that I got the job. I'm able to pay my bills, you know, whatever, whatever. But this is a story time. We're getting, we getting personal, okay? So, speed up the process. So, like, maybe two weeks into my job, I was like, okay, I finally realized this is not the job that I wanted. This is not attached to my degree. This is more so like, okay, we're just doing this, this. You know, it's not what I expect it to be. I think I should have read it a little bit more, but it was along, it was describing along the lines that is, that's what the job was, but turns out that's not what it was. But anyway, still grateful for it. I ain't complaining. So, two weeks into the job, the one of the bosses called me in and it's like, oh, well, um, we had a couple people come in and say that you're not very, you know, welcoming as far as you know, holding conversations. Now, me, I've always had a job that we not finna kiki. Like, anytime we kiki, we, it was like, girl, you need to be getting on your job. You need to be doing this. You know, it was always a problem if we kiki. So, I'm not really a kiki person when it comes to jobs. I didn't learn my lesson when it comes to kiki. So, I say, I'm not rude. I come in. I say, good morning. You know, how y'all doing? I sit down, do my job. I clock in, and I leave, and I go home. Don't nobody know up there, know anything personal about me. They don't know, oh, what, you, my, what my kids look like. We're not friends on Facebook. We, we not on TikTok. I got, you know, one. I got one. You know, she's an older lady. You know, ain't nothing wrong with age. I like, I like hanging out with the older people. I just do. It ain't no mess. It ain't no drama. So... That was the first time. That was like two, almost three weeks in, right? Mind you, well, how come today is the fourth day, the fourth time that this boss has came to me and said that I seem intimidating to the coworkers, not to my patients, not to the clients, not to people that come in and out of the hospital. No problem with the clients, no complaints with the clients, but complaints with the employees because I'm not having a conversation. So I asked them. I said, you know, this is like our third or fourth time talking about the same situation. And you keep saying that I make the coworkers feel uncomfortable. I said, what am I saying? So he responds and says, nothing. So you saying that since I don't have conversations, I'm providing some type of weird work environment for everybody? How does that even make sense? If I say hello, it's not like they come to me and say, good morning, how are you? And I don't respond. Or I'm like, ugh, get away from me. I'm, I'm too good for this job. I'm not acting like that. It's just that I simply just don't want to have extra conversations. It's not even like they attempted to come and make an extra conversation. It's just that I'm not a part of the kiki. And, and you're saying that's a problem? I'm not in the mix. Now, mind you, if I was in the mix and I had a click and all this and that, I would be in the office. And then that's the thing, too. I, I told him, like, you act like we're not grown in here. You act like we're 16. This, we at McDonald's. This is our first job. You know, we have to learn to get around each other. No, we're, like, in our 20s, late 20s, late 30s, late 40s. So, you mean to tell me you can't call the other person in here and see what the actual problem is between amongst the two? Or are you just picking at this point? But... So, fast forward, you know, I really had to leave that office, and I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to I'm not gonna get riled up. I'm not going to turn around and get fired. I'm not going to cuss him out. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to find the person that, I'm looking, that, that, that said it, that went and said it, that whatever the case may be. I just went in the bathroom. I cried, and I prayed. Because sometimes what you pray for is not always what you're going to get. Because I remember before we moved out here, 
I was praying. I was like, God, I can't wait to sit around my old ladies and we just talk about what we're going to eat for lunch. I can't wait. I can't wait. That's all I used to pray for. I spoke it into existence. I literally was like, I cannot wait till I've been around some people where we like, I'm chilling. I'm not working my ass off to the bone. My back ain't hurting. My feet ain't hurting. At the end of the day, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. Literally, pray for it, got it. And it's not what I wanted. Because why am I so special that you have to have a conversation with me? And it's not even like you tried to have a conversation with me. It's literally just you figured that I'm supposed to be a part of the teapot. Like, so, for instance, we having a um, potluck Friday. Um, and I was like, she can't, wanna, well, I'm not going to say she because I'm not inferring that it was her or anybody else or anybody with her click or any of her friends because I don't care who it was. I'm still getting my coin. I got paid today. Thank you. So, um, one of the employees came up to me and was like, um, are you, uh, you gonna, uh, what you bring to the potluck? I said, well, I didn't know anything about a potluck because I didn't know anything about a potluck seriously until last Friday. I said, I didn't know we was having a potluck, but they had been new, you know, they was talking about, you know, what entrees and stuff they was gonna bring and stuff like that. And I just didn't know. I'm not in no group chat. I don't know what I'm supposed to be bringing. I don't know what everybody else is supposed to be bringing. But I'm not one of those people that eat everybody, everybody food. I don't eat everybody food. If I didn't cook it, if my mama didn't cook it, my granny didn't cook it, you know, I'm really not, I'm not going to be enticing to eat it. You know, I'm a big girl, but then I mean, I eat everybody food. But anyway, so, um, and then most of the majority of my employees are not of my skin tone. And I think that's what's really going on here because it's like instances like he literally came up to me, the uh, my one of my bosses, he came up to me the other day and was like, oh, you know, you're looking a little down. What's wrong? I was like, this is just my face. There's no patients here that I need to assist or talk to or anything like that. So I'm just sitting here. I'm just just looking at the computer i'm just chilling and then he comes back after he's oh okay he comes back and then it was oh well you know it is starting to get a little busy you know you might want to cheer up just a little literally just like picking on anything that i do and i think that is the weirdest shit i have ever seen in my entire life i don't know if like like baby if you didn't want me here you shouldn't have had me i could have went somewhere else i, I literally could have went somewhere else you know i, I don't want to be where i'm not wanted and that's just that on that. But push. Oh, y'all. Y'all see this. Y'all go watch my other video. I had just got out to eat uh, two days ago. And I'm still doing videos for y'all. And the, and the, I'm talking about this is so sore. Look at it. This is where they was popping IVs in me, y'all. But that's another story time. But, girl. Yeah. I, I just had to vent. I had to get it off my chest. Because I don't, I don't want to be a complaining. You know, when I receive blessings, I don't want to complain about them. But that picking, and I also have BPD, I'll be ready to look if you book. i really be ready to tussle because I don't understand. Like, if if I don't get any patient complaints or client complaints or anybody from the hospital saying that I'm being rude, mean, you know, I'm antagonizing, I'm making like, you know, environment uncomfortable, why are you coming to me about what another grown woman is saying? Don't you think that's a little weird? anyway y'all i love y'all and i'm going to bed and thank y'all so much for like and subscribing and sharing make sure you comment and y'all tell me your opinion on what i should do but anyway i gotta interview tomorrow so <laughs> i gotta interview tomorrow because god don't play about me and he don't play about you either. good night